My name is Grace. I am a Johanna guide and I am in Seattle. I have been with Johanna since January of 2022. Super excited to share with you some tips for, del tips for delegating. So as a guide, I am here as a resource for my members. I love to hear your story, uh, the goals you have that inspired you to join Johanna, and whether that is just creating more space to get to the pile of New Yorker magazine stacked up that's been waiting for you, or to have time to take that improv class that you've always wanted to take. Um, Perhaps you don't have a certain concrete goal. It's just this feeling of um, something that resonated with you, with Johanna. And that's a great place to connect and start a conversation there. And perhaps it's also just wanting to do less and be more and be present more. So we have lots of different attendees today. Uh, we got a mixture of new members, seasoned members, we have friends that are curious about joining and want to find out more about Johanna. So for all of us, the delegation thing might seem slightly awkward um, because asking for help isn't as always as easy as it sounds. So we have more people trickling in. Um, so I want to be mindful of our time. I want to spend about 20, 25 minutes and give you some time back in your day. So the first 10 to 15 minutes, I would like to share some tips and tricks for delegating um, and how to get into a working relationship with your team. And then I want to talk about some of Johanna's most requested to-dos and what other Johanna members are delegating. I would like to leave about 10 minutes for questions and answers. So go ahead and type in those burning questions you have in the Q&A box. I do have my co-hosts, Lisa Marie and Elise, keep an eye on the Q&A box and they will answer questions directly to you and leave some for me to address live for when it benefits um, the entire audience. And then I want to leave about five minutes at the end to recap the key points and talk about what the next steps are. So this session is recorded. So if you're not able to stay for the entire webinar, um, you can review it at your own convenience at another time. If you're an audio learner like myself, this is a great time to pop in those ear pods, go for a walk, get your steps in, um, make a cup of tea, you will still get all the juicy bits. All right. Let's dive in. Tips for delegating to your team and getting into the groove with your, with your team. All right. So I have about six tips. Number one, so expect that there is a learning curve. So I feel like it's similar to playing a new instrument. Um, there's always kind of the ramp up period where you're just learning the different steps. So take the first few weeks to be vocal about your preferences, uh, give feedback. Um, and then over time, that collaboration with your team will improve. And I would say that expect that sometimes a task completion may not be a roaring success. And that is part of the journey. So during the first few weeks, you will get a sense of what saves most time handing off to your team and what you want to keep for yourself. And then sometimes that a task has components of both. All right, number two. So let us know how you would like to communicate. Um, you may not have clarity on this in the beginning, so I encourage you to experiment I know some members like the real back and forth with their team and the app. Others members, other members want to wait until the middle of the day, end of the day, and batch all the responses at that time and then put in things at the end of the day. So I have some members who want lots of details about why we gave certain options. Some members say, hey, I just want succinct bullet points and I only want one or two options because I don't wanna have all that decision fatigue. 
you will get a sense of what works best for you and let us know. All right, add it to your profile and keeping it updated. So to access your profile on the phone app, it is at the menu bar at the bottom to the far right. There are three little meatballs with more under it. When you pull that menu up, there is a profile tab. When you go to the desktop app where your photo is in the upper right hand corner, there is a pull down menu and you can click on your profile. Add as much information as you're comfortable with. You can add things like dates and events, birthdays, anniversaries, um, information about your family, pets, what food preferences you have, allergies, aversions, um, what you would like to spend more time on, what you would like to spend less time on. You can add things like a link to your a print, Pinterest board to give us a sense of what your style and aesthetics are. Add things like, hey, I want to. Sh I like shopping at boutique shops, or these are these are the furniture shops I really love. I like the look of this. Um, let us know what websites you don't want to shop at. I do know some members say, hey, don't find anything on Amazon. I only want local, sustainable, women-owned businesses. So give us give us some as much information as what you're you're comfortable with. All right, number four. So what to delegate first? I would say collect, when if you're new, collect all those things on post-it notes in your Google Keep, in a Google document, um, written down somewhere, a list of things that has been circling in your mind and put that all on the your list in the app. And things I would say just hand off first, a few things. So recur recurring tasks. So things that we can schedule on a recurring basis, hair appointments, uh, nail appointments, dog grooming, dental appointments, um, looking ahead at what are some weekends that there are three-day weekends or holidays or a Saturday or Sunday where you want to go on a hike or take a day trip. Let us start looking into that. What are some gifts that we can purchase in the upcoming months? Um, what about some meal plans in the upcoming weeks? And I would say that when you are 10 or 15 minutes in on the internet and you're on the second or third page of a search engine and you're going down that rabbit hole of looking for a non-BPA water bottle with a silicone straw for your child, that is a time to offload to us. Okay, let's keep going. Number five. Be clear about what your expected outcome is. So what is the end goal of your ask? So you can put as much detail as you want in the how can we make this happen box. Um, and let us know what, what you're really seeking. So is it a broad ask of, hey, just research what are the flower bouquet delivery services in the area that meets my a certain budget? Or do you want something really specific? So if you have something specific in mind, like themes or a style, share a Pinterest board with us, share photos with us. So we get a sense of, hey, this is what, what this member is looking for us. And that really helps us tailor uh, the results for you. So give us lots of details. The more, the better. Uh, be explicit about what you want. And it doesn't have to be polished. If you want to just do bullets, lots of bullet points, do a brain dump into the detail box is totally fine. If you're a typer, go to the desktop app because it's a lot quicker to type on a keyboard. If you're a verbal processor, you can set up a time with your specialist to call you and run through the details. All right, number six and the last one. So making it a habit to check the app. All right, so yes, I know this is another to-do, I get it. And it can also create more efficiency. So consider blocking off a time in the day where you will check the app, answer questions from your specialist. This does help keep moving things forward. 
Your specialist is available Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. in your time zone. Although feel free to put in messages, add to-dos um, in real time as they come up. It could be middle of the night, early in the morning when you're making your matcha latte. We will get to it the next business day in the morning. All right, let's move on to even more juicy information. So what are other members asking us to do? I get asked this question all the time. So here are Johanna's top 10 requested to do's. And these are in categories. And for those of you listening in, um, I'm going to dictate these. So I know because you're not looking at the image. And then I'll give some examples at the end. So appointments meal planning, finding a restaurant and booking dinner reservations, car maintenance, whether it be scheduling oil changes or detailing, house cleaning, anything related to kids, schools, finding library books, spa and massages, birthday parties, finding a local charity to donate items, date nights. So other ideas, um, I have a member request, hey, can you keep track of when the musk ox baby will be born at the zoo so we can plan a visit? Or finding a virtual or in-person cooking class for my teenager so they can get into the groove of making meals for the family. Um, we have members ask, hey, can you look ahead at the school calendar and see what no when there are no school days because of teacher in-service and find a day camp for my child. Um, you can have them call a restaurant that's impossible to get into and see if they have tables reserved just for walk-in guests and what are some good nights for that. Or finding a professional like an electrician to rewire a three-way wall dimmer switch. Um, so you get the idea. All right. Let me check the time because I want to leave some insufficient time. So it's about 12.15. And I know Lisa Marie and Elise have answered some questions and leaving some things for me to answer. All right. Let me go through what to answer live. Oh, I have, so from Diana, can two people, husband and wife, use one account? That's a great question. So right now, there's only one email or username you can log in. Um, so what I have people do is you can use the same login, password, login and password and have someone be on the phone and someone be on the desktop app. It's just the same login. What else? So Stephen is asking, now with so many specialists tackling tasks, I love the speed, but I'm having to give a lot more feedback. Is there a way, a better way to ensure preferences and information about my family is saved after a task, in addition to the profile notes I already have filled out? Yes. So our specialists are, when you give them information, they do, and they're supposed to add to your profile. And as we are researching tasks for you and making things happen, referring back to that profile. So the profile is super important. What else? So Jasmine, hey, Jasmine is saying, I have the same question as Carrie. So Carrie is asking, what is the most efficient way to document or communicate preferences for communication style? I found the communication cadence worked pretty well when I only have one assistant under the new model. There are different people working on things for me, and I find myself having to repeat a lot of things. Yes, have, put that in your profile section. There is a section that um, you can add what how you would like to communicate. And our specialists are to refer to that section. I'm just going to pull up. So under more, where your profile is, 
availability, best times to contact you, and I would put it under additional details. What else? An anonymous person is asking how to give information so my specialist can buy items for me at a bookstore, clothing store, flowers, delivery. Yes, message your specialist directly. And there's a couple ways to purchase things. One is if there is a guest checkout on a website, um, we use a credit card that is stored in the app. If there is a login and password required, say Instacart or Amazon, we do send you a link to enter that information and can purchase items that way as well. Oh, and someone asked, please repeat how I can let my husband use my account. He has to log on. Yes, yeah, so you can have, it's all the same login and password and one person can use the desktop app and the other person can use the phone app and this is kind of a nice way so as you're putting in different tasks you may have a specialist picking up a task if they're great at if it's a meal plan and that specialist is amazing at meal planning they will pick up that task and one partner can directly interact with that specialist in that discussion another partner can be interacting with another specialist in another task discussion. Okay, I'm looking through these great questions, you guys. What does meal, okay, Stephen asks, what does a meal planning involve? Many recipes? Yes, yes, and yes, all, all of it. So request so to give you an example, um, you can request, hey, I just need three meal plans, three dinners for the week because we do take out the other nights and these are some food allergies and aversions or preferences. We like to stick with more pescatarian diets, minimize the dairy, minimize the gluten, and that team will come up with some recipes for you to make, you can say, hey, I wanna keep it under 30 minutes. Um, if you want us to pull a grocery list from that those recipes and meal plan and populate Instacart, let us know. So I have a question from Tiffany who says, is there a way to request a specific specialist or is it just always random? So when you put in a task, if you feel like, wow, this specialist um, did an amazing job researching information on different restaurants that have vegan cheese boards for me, um, I want them to look at some other things about restaurants. You can message your primary specialist and let them know. Um, Andy did a great job on this and I'm putting in a task. Can you make sure that Andy gets assigned to it? Um, let us know those, those preferences, yes. Oh, Sue, it, you, I don't know why I'm coming by Steven. I, I don't know either. <laughs> okay. There are so many great questions. Um, Anonymous says, I'm in a free trial and still confused about tasks I asked my specialist contact versus request I put in to the general to-do list. What is the difference and appropriate use case for each? Um, yes, so... When you put in a little, the plus sign, adding a task to, to your app, um, that will be picked up by a general specialist um, right away. If I have members, when they've been working with a primary main specialist for a while, and that specialist does know their preferences, um, has interacted with them, you can then message your primary specialist in the general discussion. 
um, and ask them to do, to take on that specific to do. So I'm going to pull up my desktop app. So when I click on Johanna, that does pull up my main page. And on the top right-hand corner, there is chat. And that's when you can chat with your primary specialist if you want them to specifically pick up a task. When you actually click on add a to-do, that to-do will be picked up on by a specialist who is looking at, at to-dos coming in, or if it's a meal planning group and who, or someone specializing in a certain area, they will pick up that task to move things forward. I hope that answers your question. Phew, I'm gonna take a look at the time and make sure that we have time for wrap up. Okay, let's, let's I'm gonna leave, answer one more question. I have someone who is asking, what is the benefit of speaking with a guide? Great question. So um, yes, to talk about anything and everything, inspiration of what other to-dos you can, you can ask your specialist for. Um, are you using, let us, talk, let us um, learn about your family, what your schedule is like. We can strategize different ways of leveraging, helping you leverage the service. Um, if there are certain goals that you have for joining the service, let's talk through that. Um, perhaps you've gotten all these different to-dos off your plate and you're wondering, okay, now I have this space. Um, what do I do with that? Um, maybe it's creating other goals. Perhaps um, you need someone as a sounding board to run through a certain, a certain number of tasks. Um, or create new strategies. Um, let us let us know. It's a great way to connect with your guide and leverage that. Okay, you guys. So I have at twelve twenty five. Let's go over recap some some things. All right. So yes, expect an initial learning curve. So sometimes a task doesn't turn out the way you imagined. And that is part of the journey and experience. Um, I do want to add that expect there will be ebb and flow. So there are times when you don't have a lot of to-dos. Maybe there'll be a week or a few days. Um, and that is part of the journey. And it's a great time to take a tech break from the app, uh, sit in that space and void, and see what comes up. It's a great space to play in. Um, Maybe instead of creating another to-do list, it's a great time to create a feel-good list. And this is also um, an opportunity to connect with your guide, realign goals. Uh, keep your profile updated. Yes. And then be clear about your task goals. Uh, think about a communication flow that works best for you. And yes, and make it a habit to check the app. So what are the next steps? So we, you will be getting an email with some reflection questions. These are designed to get you thinking about what you want to get off your plate next. Do schedule a time to connect with your guide. If you're not yet a subscriber, you can head to johanna.com and click get started. Uh, if you want to find out more information on our webpage, there is a little chat box. You can talk to someone and have them connect to connect you with a guide for a quick phone call or video call to find out more information. And I'm going to be mindful of the time and I'll also look at maybe there's another couple of questions that my team may, may want me to answer live. Okay, so no, I think there will be answering a lot of questions typed in.
So I so appreciate everyone's presence here today. I hope the information I shared was helpful and it sparked some inspiration. Uh, take and adapt what resonates with you and leave behind what doesn't. So things, things work differently for everyone. Um, we love to hear additional thoughts from you. So connect with your guide uh, or reach out via email at support at johanna.com. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and weekend ahead um, and get a little breather. Thank you so much for spending the time with me and I will see you on the other side. Take care, everyone.